going to work. Aren't you going to say bye? Oh. Bye, Anna. And a goodbye kiss? We kissed. Anna placed a hand on my forehead. Are you okay? You might have a fever. I can give you something for that. I smiled. I I'm okay. It's just... What is it? Trouble? You can tell me anything. Um, do you know that sandwich shop? <clears throat> Which one? Next to the... Where I... Next to the store? I nodded. You want a sandwich from there? Yeah. If that's okay. Well, there is always a huge line there. Please, Anna. It would mean a lot to me. Oh, How can I resist? Of course, darling. I'll get you anything. <clears throat> what kind of sandwich do you want? Anything you pick. Hmm. I'll get you something light. You're not getting much exercise. I don't want you to get fat. Is that alright? Yep. Great. And don't forget your remembering session. You've been doing those, right? Yeah. And? I frowned and shook my head. Nothing yet? Oh well. It's not even been two weeks yet. You'll get there soon. I'm sure you will. Yeah, I will. Anna pinched my cheek, kissed me again, and left. <clears throat> and I went and threw up in the toilet. Oh god. I brushed my teeth and washed my mouth three times over. I can't. I can't go on like this. I couldn't keep living here. I waited 10 minutes until I was sure Anna was gone. Then I pulled back the heavy curtains. Down on the street, there was a single person looking sad and abandoned. I waved at her. She looked up, nodded, and walked into the building. Hi, Jack. I was so happy to see her. I wanted to cry. Oh, Grace. We started seeing each other in secret five days ago. I knew how long exactly I had started counting the days again. That big cloud of confusion in my brain was gone. It wasn't Anna's dog anymore. It was Anna's own fault. What else could she expect having me dig around my past like that? But it was scary how close I'd come to letting go. If things were a bit different, I might have kept on being a half-mute idiot forever. I never would have left. Would never would have let Grace inside. When I first heard Grace's voice again, I thought I finally snapped. I thought I was hallucinating. But I opened the door and there she was. Grace? Grace, I'm I'm so happy to see you. I thought after your message, I thought I'd never D don't say that. Don't see anything. Just for a minute. We put our arms around each other. We'd only been apart for a few weeks, but so many things had happened that it felt like years. I knew it. You don't hate me. I didn't know what she was talking about. And I didn't really care. Only one thing mattered right now. Let's go. Let's get out of here. 
I've been working up the courage to leave ever since I had become myself again. As stupid as it seemed, I was afraid of going outside. But with Grace here, I could leave. I could do anything. We can't. Huh? You're not going to leave here. Not yet. Why not? Do you have any idea what it's like for me in here? I can't imagine, Jack. And I'm so, so sorry I didn't believe you. You knew how dangerous Anna was right from the start. That's all the more reason to get the hell out, to get the hell away. I told you, not yet. This isn't something we can run away from. I still wish we could just pack up and leave, but Anna is going to follow us wherever we go. God damn it! I stomped on the floor, on the ground, like an angry child. Grace was right. Anna had followed me here. If we left now, she'd do it again. We have to report her to the... No, Jack. No police. They trust her first a million times over. I guess they would. Besides, I wasn't even sure if she'd done anything actually illegal. But what then? What do we do? I don't know. Uh, why is this happening to us? Even as we talked, we kept our ears to the hallway. Though we both knew Anna was at work, the slightest echo of a footstep was enough to make us jump. Why can't she just leave us alone? What does she even want from you? I think I might have a clue. I told Grace about how Anna was trying to make me remember stuff from years ago. But it was so long ago. Anything could have made her obsessed with you. Jack? What? I'm sorry to say this. I know you always hated it when I did. <clears throat> what is it? I had a good feeling what she said. I didn't like it. You really do have to remember. I pinched the bridge, bridge of my nose. There was a big headache coming on right behind my behind the eyes. I know. We can't win against her like this. Not when she knows so much more than we do. I know, alright. Do you think you can do it? I don't want to do it. But I think I can. I never tried. Not seriously, not since those first few days. Good. Please do try. And thank you for not giving in, Jack. I know it must be hard. Do you need anything from the outside? I could sneak something in. I don't have a lot, but no, I don't need anything. And it keeps me well fed. I put as much contempt as I could into, into those words. Are you doing alright though? You don't have any money, do you? I think Anna got some stash somewhere around here. Grace refused. You can't risk your noticing. And besides, I'm doing okay. I'm staying with a friend. They're a big help. Oh. Alright then. So, she landed on her feet. It made me happy to hear that. I'll be going now, Jack. What, already? And I won't be home for hours. She's not supposed to. We got to be careful. And being here all at all is making me so nervous I could die. You're right. Besides, we'll have plenty of time spent together once this is over. Yeah. Just this too. We looked at each other lovely. Then a door slammed shut somewhere in the building. I really need to go. Bye, Jack. Bye, Grace. I love you. Uh, I wonder if it was still okay for me to tell Grace I loved her, but the words went and said 
themselves. <clears throat> Grace stood on her tiptoes to kiss me on the cheek. I love you too. Locking the door after her was one of the most difficult things I've ever done. But seeing her had given me the courage I needed. I felt I could do anything. And now here we, we were, five days later, two secret meetings later. I couldn't go on. Grace, I'm sorry. You can't stay here anymore. I really, really can't. I'm at my limit. No, I'm way past my limit. I'm surprised I still got it together. Oh, baby. I'm sorry. Have you made any progress? It was an echo of Anne's constant questioning. But Grace wasn't doing it on purpose, I told myself. I kept my anger in check. No, nothing. I can't remember anything from that time. It's like one big blind spot. I can't do it. It's hopeless. If you see it's really hopeless, then I guess it's no use at all. You said the same thing last time too, but I still made you try. It's my fault, you're in so much pain. It's not your fault. It's hers. I heaved a sigh. I need to pack a few things. Wait here. I'll be ready in five. That's... Uh, uh, no, no, again? What? You can't mean... I want you to stay here, Jack. There's no way I can. Just a little bit more, I promise. She came up to me and felt my upper hand. My arms, upper arms. It's so thin now. But you could still hold her down, right? A chill went over me. W what do you mean? Aren't we running away? We can't run away. She'll find us again, and then what? I can't live like that. Always afraid. I'm sure you can't either. So you're going to... She couldn't mean... Great whispered. Oh, yes. No. It's wrong. Plain wrong. Yeah, it is. But what else is there to do? She backed us into a corner. It's practically self-defense. I, I guess if you look at it that way. No, absolutely not. My head pounded at the temples. I'm so happy you agree. I so wish we could do it today, but I need to prepare. Can you stand being here until tomorrow evening? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Tomorrow, Anna has a morning shift and she'll be back by early afternoon. Let's go for six o'clock. Okay? Okay. Six o'clock. Please have her immobilized by then. Immobilized? How? I was already swept up in this plan. I didn't think twice about what Grace said anymore. The more immobilized, the better. If you just sat on her, then it would be alright, I guess. But trying, tying her down would be a big help. And if you could knock her out, that would be amazing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'll be outside in the hallway. When she's all tied up, or passed out or whatever, shout out so I know it's safe, okay? Alright. And then? What will you do then? To answer, Grace took a small knife out of her pocket. She turned it in, in her hand a few times. Only then I realized the full weight of what she would do. And only then I realized how she didn't seem bothered with it, by it. Grace, what's happening? What do you mean? This isn't like you. The Grace I know. I hesitated. What did Anna do to you? 
Chris Goodwood seemed to evaporate. Evaporate. He pressed her face against my chest. She did a lot. She... I felt like I was dirt. And I promised myself that would never happen again. The knife was still in her hand. It looked so sharp. She took you from me, too. That's the one thing I really can't forgive. Imagine how happy would be if she never existed. I put my arms around her. I get it. Then let me do it. Give me the knife. I don't want you to see. I don't want to see you do this. Maybe I'll be able to work something out, I thought. Maybe I won't have to. It won't have to lead to bloodshed. I hate the sight of blood. I'm sorry, Jack. This is something I have to do. No, it's not just that. The truth is, I want to do it myself. It's like nothing will ever feel right again if I don't do it. Grace put a hand on my chin. I leaned in closer, but she stopped me before we kissed. I love you, Jack. I love you too. Her skin felt hot. She was giving off heat like a furnace. Are you scared? Yeah. Please don't be. One day we'll look back at this and laugh. I woke up with a bitter taste in my mouth. One day we'll look back and laugh. I'm sure as hell not laughing now. That's a good thought to have. What the? Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. Christ. You should laugh as much as you can, you know. It helps reduce stress. It's hard to find things funny with you around. Do you have to come here so often? I see more than enough of you in my dreams. That long, shameful mouth I spend with her keeps coming to me while I sleep. It's sore in my mood. I can't even pretend around Anna anymore. Maybe I should write about it in my journal after all. No, screw that. It'd be too embarrassing to write down. Jack, that's so sweet. Huh? What is? So you dream about me. I have dreams about you too, every night. Yeah, but mine are nightmares. Looks like someone's cranky from having just woken up. You better not be so rude to your doctor, though. He's not as nice as I am. He might kick you out if you misbehave. I've seen him do it. That's fine. I might be happier out on the street. The doctor comes along soon enough. He has good news for me, he says. It's looking good, Mr. Friday. Far better than before. Your blood pressure is fine and the other things too. That's great news, doctor. My attention is split between what he's saying and what I see in his coat pocket. It's glinting. Is it a pen? No, it's not a pen. It's something else. My heart beats faster. Thankfully, I still remember to ask him an important question. So, when can I... Leave? Yeah, when are you going to release me? The doctor scratches his head, then counts on his fingers. Wednesday next week. Next week? Yes. Well, thanks, doctor. You're welcome. It's way earlier than I expected. I prepare myself for being here for a few more weeks. Thank you so, so much. Here. I put out a hand for him to shake. After a second, he takes it. I pull him close and he stumbled, nearly sprawling across my bed. It's a very sloppy handshake. Sorry, doctor. My bad. He coughs. Uh, it's fine. You really helped me. A lot. On a day's work. So yes, next week. And then you got rehab. Mm, rehab, doc? Oh yes. After you leave here, it's straight to the physical rehab facility for you. We don't have an inpatient facility here, 
but there's a great one on the other side of town. I'm sending you there. I'm not going home? No, of course not. You end up hurting yourself, or with a limp. Is that what you want? No, no. That won't do. That won't do at all. He jots down some notes. Wednesday. That's in four days. The nurse had been exercising you, right? They, they what? Huh? Exercising me? They haven't? He turns to Anne. What's this about, nurse? Excuse me. Should have been giving him some mild exercise. W well? Uh, you never told us that, doctor. Can't you tell by yourself? Doctor stopped mumbling to himself while making more notes. Christ, I really have to do everything here, don't I? No, no, that, that's fine. Not like you're paid to do these things or anything. And how long will I stay here? Stay there, doctor? He raised his hands if I, as if giving up on me. It's always that with you, isn't it? Look, how long you stay at your facility is up to the people there. I can't tell you that. But don't hold your breath. I let out a laugh. Man, you're really going to melt me dry, aren't you? I bet you gotta deal with the people over there, doctor. Don't you know I'm poor as hell? He makes a grave face. The thought never crossed my mind. I live only to help people like yourself, Mr. Friday, so I don't appreciate hearing such accusations. I'd like you to be more careful about what you say. Understood? Uh, understood. Good. And he rushes off, then shoes creaking. Well done. And grabs hold of my right leg, the one that isn't broken. Hey! What do you think you're doing? It's exercise. You remember what the doctor said, don't you? Oh, right. Well, I suppose it's fine. She brings my knee up to my chest. The joints in my leg pop. It's stiff. I haven't used it in a long time. How is it? Any pain? No. A little sore, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. She brings my leg back down. I'll keep going, then, if you don't mind. Keep going as you please. She repeats the whole motion. Ever so gently. If this'll help me start walking faster, I'm fine with it. Hmm. Her hands are on me. When she helps me fold my leg up, her neck is so close I could. How do you feel about what the doctor said? Hmm. What did he say? That I'm out here, out of here by next week. I whisper so the other patients can't hear. How does that make you feel? Are you angry? And a smile doesn't break when her fingers press against me more forcefully. Now, I'm not angry, of course. It's nice that you're getting better. Oh yeah? And I'll still visit you at a facility. I'm sure you will. Oh, but what if you're very strict about visiting hours? That'd be a bummer, wouldn't it? For the first time in so long, I feel like I have the upper hand. It's going to, to my head. And who knows, maybe I'll tell them I don't want any visitors. To focus on your recovery? Yeah, of course. That's good. I want you healthy, darling. She stops exercising me mid-session, mid-motion. I can't wait. How long do you think I waited before? I'm a patient girl. Her fingers find her way up my inner leg. I can wait, no problem. Because after this is done, you'll be mine again. All mine. Forever. I grab her by the wrist. My fingernails dig into her skin. Ouch! You're hurting me. Shut up. How come what makes you so... 
I'm, I'm never living with you again, you know that? Oh, sweetie. You'll do as I say. T of course. You still have grace. Well, yes. That's one reason. But there's one much dearer to my heart. Do you know what that is? I glare back. Is that you love me? I don't. You do. You love me even if you don't know you love me. Deep down, you love me more than anything in the world. Just like I love you. But you spent so long living all these lies that you've been, that you started believing them yourself. Don't worry though, I'll help you remember all over again. She finally lets go of me. Get plenty of rest. You have a lot ahead of you. She goes away, leaving me to myself and to my broken body. That night, I dream of how I got to be like this.